Now the next step is to get these edges. And this may seem like an algorithm, but when you when I break it this down for you, I'm not going to put up an algorithm on the screen because it's an idea that once you understand the idea, um, it makes it very easy to translate into other um, aspects. So what you want to do is you want to find an edge piece on the bottom layer that when you turn, like you want to see one, in this case since I saw white, look for edges that don't have any yellow, which is the opposite color. In this case I found an orange green edge. You want to line it up such that it makes kind of a T shape of the same color. And now you want to find where the bottom color is with respect to this top face. It's over here. Now what I'm going to um, show you how to do, I'm going to show you how to put this edge into this slot here. Now you can't just do that because then you mess up the top layer that you work so hard on. So what the idea is, you want to turn the bottom face away from the bottom color. So since it's green, I'm going to turn it away from green. And I'm going to turn the green face down. I'm going to turn the bottom face back so that this line is back here. And then I'm going to turn the green face back up. Now what you'll notice, if you've done this right, you'll have formed a 2 by one by one block with white on one side, orange, and green, or whatever two colors that you started with. Now the same movement to move this piece up here is going to be applied. It's just going to carry this piece with it. So again, we turn this away from the orange, turn the orange down, turn it back, and then up. And now we have it. This. So now we're going to look around the cube for another one. And we will do this one here. So we want to find, we see that the blue is facing out, so we line it up with the blue face here. Now we turn it away from this bottom color, which is red, we turn it away from the red, bring the red down, turn the bottom face back, bring the red back up. And again, we form this two by one by one block. The same move applies, we take, we move this away from the blue, move the blue down, move it back towards the blue, and move it up. Now, sometimes you get to the point where you say, oh, I don't have any more edges to put in, yet your edges are not completely solved. What happened is you have edges in place, but they're wrong. And the idea to get these pieces out, I use a dummy piece because it's a lot easier. Um, you use the same algorithms. You don't have to learn anything new. Well, it's the same concepts, not even an algorithm. So I just pick an arbitrary piece. I'm going to pick this one because... Um, it, the blue will match up for this demonstration, but you can use any piece. I mean, you could use this piece if you wanted to. So, you just take the bottom face, again, you turn it away from this face that you're bringing down with the bad edge. Bring that face down, bring the bottom face back, bring the top face back. Now, if this were the right edge, you could see that it would have made a 2 by one by one block. It's not, but we still need to put this piece back in. So we turn this away, blue face down, turn it back, blue face up. Now when we look around the cube, we see that we take, took out that edge piece. So now what we do is we take that and line it up to make the T. Then we take the bottom face, turn it away from this green face, bring the green face down, bottom face back, green face up, and then we just insert the pair. So away from the red, red down, back to the red, red up. Now we'll have to do, oh I'm sorry we already fixed that. I'm going to show you um, what can happen sometimes is you'll have the piece in the right place but it'll be oriented wrong. The same move applies as I previously showed you. You take a dummy piece away, face down, back, face back, and then we insert this corner again. Away from the blue, blue down, bottom back, blue back up. Then we have this piece here. Turn it away from this orange, orange down, bottom back, orange back. We have the pair. Away from the blue, blue down, bottom back, blue back. So now we have all of the first two layers completely solved. Okay, 
So now we have the top two layers completely solved. We have our white on top. Now this bottom layer is very, th this is the most intensive part of your solve. Um, this is where you're going to actually learn algorithms. Um, and I'm going to try to teach you these algorithms by feel, kind of. Um, you'll understand what I mean when we get there. Um, there's kind of patterns that you can see within the movements and when you can kind of string those together into a series of specific movements that'll feel good for you. So the idea with this, um, with the bottom face, is you want to get a cross. Now I'm trying to get, there we go, okay. This is the case that, it, this case doesn't happen very often. This is when you have the yellow center is the only yellow piece facing up. Now, actually, I should re-say that. The only edge piece with yellow facing up. That means all of the yellows on the outside. Now, this is where you're going to sort of learn your first algorithm. Um, again, it's more of a concept. This will uh, translate further on down the line. Um, you're, the first step to do the last face is to orient these edges. So what you want to do is since you have no edges flipped, if you, all the edges flipped, none of them are flipped correctly, you want to turn, you can turn any arbitrary front face. So I'm going to choose blue because I can. I'm going to turn blue this way. So blue down with your right hand. Now, what you want to do is you want to move your right hand up, move the top face clockwise, move your right hand down and then move the right top or the top face back then you want to undo that front move that you made so like that now what you'll notice is that you've made two edges oriented correctly and they are they make kind of an arrow shape you want to move this arrow shape into the back left corner now this is the most common case that you will get after you solve the first two layers. You'll have two edges flipped and it'll kind of make a little triangle. Um, you can also get this case where you have a bar, but that case actually feeds off of this case. So, the same concept applies in this case to the first case where we have no edges flipped. What you want to do Again, is you want to turn the front face, but one, what you want to be sure of is that the arrow is in the top left corner. You turn the front face so it doesn't disturb anything, and you do the same move. You go right up, top clockwise, right back, top counterclockwise, or top back. Now, you want to do that again, but before you do that again, for the first time, spin the front face back up and you can see that you have this bar. To solve the rest of the edges from this bar, you do the front face again and you do the exact same algorithm. So you do right up, top face clockwise, right back, top face back, and then you move your front completely back to the way it was. Now, if you don't believe that that's what happens from this step, I'll show you. You just string the algorithm together twice. So you turn the front face, bring the right up, top clockwise, right down, top back, then you bring the right back up again, move the top face clockwise, bring the right face down, bring the top face back to where it was, and then you move your front face. Now you will have this, what's called a cross. And we, that's how we started the bottom face, is we've got a cross. So from here, you can have these corners in any orientation that you want, meaning any, any colors facing up. It doesn't matter at this stage, they will be changed, because the algorithms that I will show you, or the series of moves that I will show you, are not going to be considered pure. And pure means that the orientation of the pieces aren't affected. So you will have these corners changing different colors be flipping up after different moves. That's perfectly fine and normal. You'll fix them in the last step.